Okay, so you're installing your own IKEA kitchen. And one of the reasons you did it is because it comes all in flat packs. You could put it on a trailer and take it home or in the back of your pickup truck. <clears throat> you could assemble it because it has all the parts that you're supposed to use. Uh, you, it's easy to level because you can use the suspension rail. There's a rail back there and these little corner clips hang on that rail. So you, don't, you can hang your cabinets, slide them together, clamp them together like I'm doing up there, and then screw them together from the inside wall. And it's really easy to level your cabinets. But you made the mistake of using the online planner, which is not a mistake. The online planner is a good tool. But you made the mistake of designing your island with a dishwasher that wound up on the end. And I didn't pay attention to the details because I thought when you purchase your own appliance and you don't use IKEA kitchen appliances, IKEA has you put in the custom measurements. What's your, what's your cutout dimensions? What's your depth? What's your width? What's your height? And you do that for your double oven. You do that for your, your micro, microwave and your refrigerator. And where it's supposed to go in those holes, then it, it the designer tells you this is the cabinet, this is the item number you need to order in order to make that work. Okay? And, of course, I just figured that Oh, okay. Well, then they'll have all the stuff I need. Well, when I started putting my island together, guess what? There's nothing to go here. The side panel. There is no side panel. You have to make your own side panel. And the problem is, is uh, when you look at this 24-inch um, appliance, which I gave them the, the measurement. Hey, it's 24 inches from here to here. This is a 24 inch cabinet, base cabinet, that you use for your island. And notice that your island is just made up of uh, a series of base cabinets and a series of base cabinets backed up to, back to back. But this 24 inch cabinet, the 24 inches is from the outside here to the outside here. The inside from here to here, that's 23 and a half inches. And guess what? My dishwasher is 24 inches so it's an inch and a half wider so when you when you notice that all the cabinets are designed to line up so i could take two 36 inch cabinets and a 30 inch cabinet and that would be the equal to a 24 an 18 a 36 and a 24 all those measurements add up so that you're in the ends of your island all come out together but guess what <clears throat> if i do that then I'm going to have a half of an inch right there on the edge that I could maybe bring something across and it'd be right up, right up against my dishwasher and there's nothing to support your countertop. We got marble that we're going to be putting in and if you put marble out here you got to have something to support it and if your support is not good if you come in here and set groceries on it or, or, or press your hand down on it or somebody your teenager jumps up on the end of the <clears throat> the uh, um, your, of your island, it's, you're going to crack a six thousand dollar piece of marble, and so uh, I mean about a sixteen hundred dollar piece of marble. Sorry about that. Well, that's about sixteen hundred is what that piece of marble will be for that island. So, at, and this is in twenty sixteen, by the way. I don't know how long this video will be relevant, but this is section, by the way, S E K T I O N section, uh, the newest IKEA kitchen line. So. We didn't realize that, that it was out of whack. We just figured, okay, the, the appliance should fit in there. There should be plenty of room to build a box. So me and my friend took some one by sixes and <clears throat> put together this box. I was gonna do something like that. We were gonna probably either put a ledger board, cut it to size back in there and drop it down and screw it to the in, inside of that wall right there. And these would rest on top of it and screw it down or I might take these extra angle pieces that came uh, to hang these base cabinets on a suspension rail but when you if you're if you're putting together a kitchen island and you know which cabinets are going to be on your kitchen island skip this step don't put that in there because after you put them together then it comes back so oh these are your your island cabinets 
Go back and take all these out and throw them in a the trash can. That's what the actual instructions say. It's kind of funny that they show you, they actually have a little, the little man throwing the angle pieces into the trash can. This little guy. Because <clears throat> So when you get to the island, there's a set of instructions somewhere that tells you how to put together an island. And it says, take those and throw them in the trash can. And IKEA is like the green company. It's, you know, always into saving uh, the eco ecology, etc. You'd think they'd say, bring those back to the store for a refund or donate them back to the store and we'll recycle them and use them. Don't throw them in the trash can. I just thought that was funny. Anyway, they tell you to take them off and you screw these um, backs together by putting an extra screw in there. So anyway, you'll figure that part out. <clears throat> what you won't figure out is if you made the mistake that I did and put your dishwasher on the end and your dishwasher is more than 23 and a half inches wide, you got a problem. <clears throat> we thought we had plenty of room to put this in and then put a, a board across here that would match up to this board here. And then we put our cover panel across there and voila, we'd be in business. And this would be supported off of the top of the, it would not actually be resting on the dishwasher. And then that would give us support for a marble countertop and we could finish it off. But when we, we started actually doing the measurements and, and putting the dishwasher in there, well, heck, we cannot fit that in. We don't have enough room. And, and the other problem is there's a kick plate goes under. And if you, I don't know if you know, but the kick plate, plate has a little, little uh, half moon hook that just clips on to these legs. <clears throat> and we figured out how to put a leg in the front of that underneath so we could put our kick plate. <clears throat> and, and if we use the original dimensions, the kick plate would would not, it would it would bow out. It would come and and it would, it would do this number here and 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 then bow out towards the towards me. So that doesn't work. So then we thought, well, maybe we'll have to go all the way to the floor with the count cover plate, but still that will not work because the cover panel there's no way for us to attach the cover panel that i don't know if you know this but on a kitchen if you have white kitchen cabinets but you want gray you know they don't make ikea a, a bodbin in white it's made in gray so <clears throat> the counter the, all the cabinets are gray but once you put the, all the drawers on well i mean white they're all white but when you put your, all your drawers and doors on all you see is gray, except on the ends. And then you have to put a cover panel there. So uh, we're flummoxed. We're like, crap, this is not gonna work. What do we do? And uh, my buddy was like, well, we could do it this way, but it's not gonna be very strong. And, I, and nothing that we came up with, we like. I said, well, come on, man, think outside the box. And he said, well, the only thing I can think of is if we can split these cabinets here and put something in between them and that would slide everything down and that would make this cabinet a little bit longer sticking out this way would give us we would gain we, maybe we could gain an extra inch or so and i said well guess what i had a a piece of cover panel see that big box right there i think that's an 84 inch piece of cover panel that they send you and you cut it to the right dimensions and put it and, and, and put it on your side here and they had sent me one that got damaged and because they delivered it to me from new jersey to tennessee they weren't going to ask me to bring it back so they just gave me a new one but the damaged part was it was sir it was it was it was uh surface level superficial damage it was scratched up and dented it's not something you want to put on the end of your cabinet right there because you'd see it. However, it's a half inch wide. It's finished all the way around. So we had a 96 inch piece on that one. So we just, this is what we did. We cut a piece about that size. And we cut the top off of one and the bottom off the other. So we have a, a finished edge across the top. And it is perfectly wide. To fit right in between the two cabinets so I took these two cabinets apart I took these two cabinets and spread them apart and mounted 
that piece in between the panel. Now it does stick out. Uh, I could not get to go in, so we thought, well, crap, we'll have to rip it and cut this off, cut this piece off. And well, wait a minute. Let's take a look and see what happens if we leave it sticking out. The drawer fronts, I can flush it up with the drawer fronts. And when I put, these are going to have drawers, drawers in this one. So when the drawers go put, are put in this one, you, you'll just have that one piece. And I just thought it was a brilliant way to solve the problem. So that's a half inch and a half inch that we, so we left this, this cabinet in place. We didn't move it. So it's still, this side is even. So if we move this middle one down a half inch and then move the last one down a half inch, we actually come down, down here and gain an extra inch of beyond the dishwasher. Of course, we'd already measured these boards, so now they're too short. We gotta, they're gonna come out like so. I'm gonna take that apart and, and get the right size board, but that's a small price to pay to figure this thing out. So, if you come into the same problem I do, uh, you're probably not gonna have a damaged 96 inch cover panel that you have laying left over but you could buy one and i don't know what the cost of one would be i think it's probably i'm guessing let me check and see okay i found it so a you can't read that but it says a 96 inch by 36 inch cover panel is well, not cheap 139 bucks 139 bucks and there's a 90 inch that's 178 bucks so why get the why get the 90 when you can get the 96 for it's like 40 dollars cheaper so for 140 bucks materials might sound like a lot but that solves your problem and if you're not willing to spend 140 bucks on an eight thousand dollar kitchen somewhere around that whereabouts then you're going to have probably a goofed up finish on this corner. So now I know that I'm going to build my box. It's going to be supported properly. I'll have um, kick plates there. And um, anyway, I'm not going to get into the details on how we're going to cover, the, how we're going to do the, the box today. If there's enough comments in this and people are like, well, how do you finish that off? Um, we'll, we'll come back and uh and show you how we did that so anyway i'm excited about solving that problem with a little bit of ingenuity and a little bit of luck i hope you i hope you um you can figure out your anomalies with ikea kitchen cabinets because there always will be a few you're not gonna it's not a total 100 percent comprehensive um flat pack all the parts included that you need to do it you're going to run into some problems like the microwave is too high <laughs> Who's in the right mind is going to put a take out a hot soup, a microwave that hot, uh, hot, a bowl of hot soup out of a microwave that hot? So they gave me a little bitty 15 inch cabinet. Uh, I need a, the the tallest they have is a 20 inch, so I'm gonna, it'll drop down another five inches. But that's the kind of things you have to think through because if you don't think through it, you just assume that they figured all this stuff out for you. And they don't not necessarily do that. So now I've got to take that cabinet out. I've got the new one in. I've already assembled it. I've got to take that one out. I got to drill a hole in the back of it for the plug. I got to remount the microwave underneath it. That means I got to take that microwave down. It's not easy. It's heavy. Take the uh, assembly parts uh, that that do that. So again, think through. You need to think through it. You need to, if it says it's a 15 inch cabinet, you need to measure 15 inches and say, okay, if a microwave is here, where am I, how high is my microwave gonna be? Because those guys don't necessarily think through that for you. Anyway, that's our kitchen dishwasher island IKEA problem that we solved. Have a great day.